Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and this is my full review of one of my newest favorite pairs of headphones under $200, the Bayer Dynamic Custom Pro Ones. And they're my favorites for a lot more than the fact that they have red and black on them, but I haven't done headphone reviews in a while, so if you wanna see more headphone reviews or similar lower budget accessories and things like that, definitely leave a thumbs up below or a comment if you have more suggestions, but let's go ahead and dive right into this. These are the Bear Dynamic Custom Pro One headphones, and they kind of came into my world out of nowhere in the past month and just became my daily driver over the ear headphones, which is kind of a big deal for me. For a while, I've hailed the ATH M50s by Audio Technica as my favorite headphones under $200 by a lot for a long time. And if you wanna watch that infamous review, I guess you can check out that link right below the like button on this video. But you can thank TLD today for introducing me to these Bear Dynamic cans as they've surprised me quite a bit in a really good way. Headphones are catching up to the M50s now and this one is what I've seen, the leader of the pack. First of all, these headphones look good. And I don't say that about a lot of headphones. There are a lot of very ugly headphones out there, but these actually look really good, like Beats Pro good. Sexy, some might say. Now, I'm not just saying this because they have a little bit of red and black. In fact, you can actually customize the plates on these, the entire look, to make them look like a totally different set of headphones. Hence the name, the custom. So you can really do whatever you want with these. The Velcro on the top is changeable and everything. I chose all black with the red accents, but these are also sexy for more than just the color, but also the materials used and the overall form and function and the feel of these headphones. They honestly stand out to me as some of the best looking ones. Now, the second reason to love these over the ATH M50s is features. These have two very specific features that are better than, or at least are not included on, the ATH M50s. First is the removable headphone cable. It comes with a cable that's about three feet long and it's very manageable, uh, but at the end is a removable headphone jack with a slot that actually plugs into the bottom of the left side of the headphones. So that makes them actually really versatile. If you break the cable, you can replace them with a new one. And I've actually seen them with a removable microphone attachment. So you can attach an inline microphone and that makes these now, you know, gaming headphones. You can use them for Skype or phone calls or gaming, or whatever else you wanna do, which is cool. I wouldn't use it for that, but it's definitely a value adding feature. And then the second awesome feature that separates it from my favorites, the M50s, are the base port. Now this is a port at the bottom of each can, on the bottom of these headphones, that are a seriously unique feature that almost no other pair has. It's basically a slider that adjusts how much these headphones respond to bass, or the low frequencies. The more open the port is, the more bass you have in your sound. Now a lot of people will cry, this is BS, that does not work. Is this effective? Does this actually make a difference in the sound? Uh, yes, it, it actually does. And not only can I hear it, boom, here's a graph of the frequency response with the different positions as you notch forward. And as you can see, halfway down open is where I keep it. And that's approximately the most balanced sound. And that's where it sounds close to the M50s actually. So I got used to the sound pretty quick. But this is a seriously awesome feature. Say you're listening to jazz and you just wanna accentuate you know, the vocals and you wanna concentrate on the highs and mids of the instrumentals. So you switch over to closing all of the bass ports and you hear all that. And then you switch over to listening to you know, Skrillex on Pandora and you just open up the bass port and unleash the full rock and bass that these things are capable of just with the flick of a switch. I mean, that's some serious versatility right there. That is a killer feature of these headphones. So yeah, these guys are good looking enough to have some unique features and be really compelling. And I have switched over to these as my full-time editing and music listening over ear headphones from the M50s. And I don't regret it at all. These guys are comfortable, flexible, and pretty soft. So they will fit in just about any sized head. They don't fold the same way that the M50s do. And they're also not as flexible. So I guess they're not really portable because they don't come with a can or a, a way to port them. But then again, the M50s are ridiculously stretchy, so I wouldn't expect any other pair to live up to that. But I do like the fact that these guys are fairly compact without having to fold them. One thing to note is that these actually do have to be burned in a little bit. They didn't sound fantastic out the box, but they do sound pretty good now. So if you do get these, just lay them on a table, play some music for a couple of hours, maybe overnight, maybe for a day or two, and you'll, you'll gradually start to hear the soundstage open up and they'll really start to pop. 
Now I can't go into audiophile level detail on the sound, but I've been listening to these without an amp for a while, so they sound really good without an amp. They're pretty sensitive, and like I said, they sound similar to the M50s when the bass port is half open. So you get very deep, rich lows, but they're still detailed enough to have plenty of room for the mids and the highs, and the overall very balanced sound works well in a lot of situations. But really being able to play around with your sound and the bass port is something that I'm gonna start looking forward to in future headphones. Bottom line, I recommend these. The bass port is a ton of fun to play around with. The link below has your price and they're in the same ballpark as the M50s. So it's definitely an option. You really can't go wrong with these or either set for that matter. But I guess it's just a matter of which one you think looks better. So go ahead and pull the trigger and you won't regret it. These are the Bayer Dynamic Custom One Pro headphones. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video and don't buy the Facebook phone. Peace.